For my project, I did the painter Rembrandt Van Regen. This painting Night Watch, or more properly called The Shooting Company of Franz Banning Koch, is one of the most famous works by the Dutch painter. Rembrandt completed the painting in 1642 at the peak of the Dutch Golden Age. He uses light to focus the eye to the three main characters, the two men in the center and the young girl in the center left background. The young girl and the man on the right center are both wearing yellow, which symbolizes victory. Baroque styles of art featured exaggerated light and intense emotions. Attention to detail, such as skin textures and clothing, made it one of the most influenced periods of Western art. In the 17th century, the Dutch Golden Age of Painting had more paintings based on history rather than religion. The term Rembrandt Brown was created by fellow artists who had the impression that he worked with a low-keyed color palette. Rembrandt also used shadows in his paintings to create mysteries, which was not common among other painters. By the time Rembrandt painted the guards, it was no longer necessary for them to defend the ramparts of Amsterdam or go out on watches during the day or night. Their meetings were just for social or sporting purposes after the painting was completed. In Rembrandt's painting, The Prodigal Son, he interprets the Christian idea of mercy. When you first glance at the painting, you notice the man kneeling at the elder man's feet and others standing around in the shadows. He used exaggerated light and intense emotions like in the night watch. The light in the painting is focused at the man kneeling and the man elder man standing over top of him. The son kneeling is asking for his father's forgiveness because he has wasted his inheritance and is now in poverty and realize that even his father's servants have a better station in life than he does. The father's hands on his shoulders suggest a motherly and fatherly gesture of forgiveness. The man with his hands crossed on the right is most likely the father's other son, who has spent his inheritance wisely and hasn't let his father down. The passage from the World English Bible by Luke suggests his objection to his father's compassion for his sinful son. Quote, but he answered his father, Behold, these many years I have served you, and I have never disobeyed a commandment of yours, but you never gave me a goat that I might celebrate with my friends. But when this, your son, came, who has devoured your living with prostitutes, you killed the fattened calf for him. The father replied, But it was appropriate to celebrate and be glad. For this your brother was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. End quote. Rembrandt most likely completed this oil painting two years before his death in 1669. The evocation of spirituality and the message of forgiveness has been considered the height of his artwork. This painting is Baroque because in that era they used many warm colors, particularly yellows and browns, which is used a lot during this painting. Musical Allegory, painted in 1626, shows a young woman leading a group of people playing music. The young woman is reading the music, singing, and beating time, while one man is playing the harp and another is playing on a viola de gamba. The older woman behind the young girl is listening intently with her hand on her chin. This painting is one of Rembrandt's earliest works and was done in 1626. In this painting, Rembrandt also uses the light and shadow to focus on the young girl in the center and the books by her feet. The two men playing instruments are partly in the shadows and are not as brightly colored as the girl. The older woman standing behind the young girl also blends in with the background and is not the main focus of the painting. Rembrandt again uses warm colors such as yellows, reds, browns, and blues to paint the young girl in the center of the painting. In the 17th century, music was often linked to love, which connected the seductive powers of music and musical instruments appeared in paintings as symbols of love. Some people believe the painting is an allegory of transience, with the books, musical instruments, and other valuables as evidence. In many 17th century paintings, there are references to the nature of earthly existence. Costly objects, like books, pretty clothes, jewelry, and mirrors, highlighted the temporary nature of beauty, wealth, and wisdom. Other people have also linked the painting to passages of the Bible, the music, Wine on the Table, and Painting of Lot and His Daughters, Fleeing from Sodom, refers to a passage in one of the epistles of St. Paul to the Ephesians. 